Um, well, my inspiration on the castles is, um, well, I've always been intrigued by castles and architecture, and I have done a few in the past and for um, in Italy. My family's from Sicily, so that kind of started that. And then um, with a few of the students that um, are painting at Old Masters Galleria with me, they um, I said, are you interested? And, you know, maybe some um, of your heritage, you know, your background and heritage, and and some of the uh, the people are from Ireland, you know, their their family. So we decided to do a couple of uh, Ireland castles, and then I happened to see this one. I've always loved this one. I've always wanted to paint this, uh, the Neuswanstein. It's from Germany, and. Um, my father's uh, family's from Germany, my mother's family's from Italy, so that's part of the inspiration on the castles. So, and the puppies, um, again back with my heritage, because I try to uh, portray uh, something that has to do with my family and keep them, you know, all in the loop. And in Sicily, there are lots of puppies. So, um, and then also Monet, um, he, he did some puppies in Argentale, and so that's, uh, you know, the one that's being featured, um, the puppies in Argentale. And so after I did some studying with his uh, artwork, I decided to do my own rendition. And um, anyhow, that's what I came up with on that. If it's a portrait, um, it could be anywhere from two weeks to four weeks. And it, again, it just depends on if it's a full body or if there's lace, you know, lots of detail in their, um, you know, image. Uh, if it's a castle like this, and um, it could take a lot more time, maybe three weeks. Um, and that's not working continuously, but it's working, you know, at least, you know, five hours a day. Um, some landscapes uh, could take maybe 20 hours and so it just really depends. Well, I just wanted to say thank you to the Centerville Arts Commission for this great opportunity to be able to uh, showcase my work with all these excellent artists here and uh, to be able to be a part of this wonderful venue with great music and great food. So thank you very much, Center. I learned how to do lamp working beads first and then a friend of mine was having a workshop and she said I'll teach you how to make fused glass and I said okay and I just loved it I just loved it it's a it's a fun it's not difficult um, I bought a kiln I have glass I have molds I have tools I've got you know everything I need and it's just a really fun hobby and that's what it is for me it's a hobby from start to finish, um, to create it, you know, depending on how involved and intricate it is, a couple of hours, and then you put it in the kiln for about 18 hours once, and then you put it in the kiln a second time to slump it to the shape of the mold. So for another about 16 hours. So it's in all total, from start to finish, it's about three days for each piece. I mean, I, it depends on what you what what you want the end to what the end piece looks like as to what the size is. Like I, I've done wall hangings, I've done sushi sets, I've done bowls. Um, so it just really depends on what size you want to make. You can make them small, like three inches, up to a 15 inch bowl or a 15 inch platter. But they're all functional pieces. You can use everything that, that's on this table. It's all made out of glass, 100% is out of glass.
Well, these actually aren't paintings. These are uh, digital photographs that I've manipulated and abstracted. So I actually have been taking pictures um, for a very long time. Like this one here is actually a shot from Los Angeles uh, and from a plane. And I entered an art gallery exhibit and the uh, title was plain like a plane, an airplane, plain like air, open air painting and plain like just generic kind of thing. And so I went with this and I just started adding vivid color and just it's a matter of finding the right mix of photos and colors to get a feeling that I'm going for and then um, titling it. Sometimes I have a title in mind and I work towards that but usually it's just I sort of let the dream appear. It depends. It can be a couple of minutes. It can be a couple of hours. Um, the first time I did this it was a matter of several days because I was trying to find the right combination of images and I wasn't quite sure of my footing yet. Now that I have more of a system going, um, it, it can take little to no time or it can take a lot of time just depending on what I'm going for and how the images are coming together. Sometimes the images I select don't work well together and I just need to start over. I drive a lot, uh, so I'm always on the road taking pictures, and um, so that, that is what inspires my landscapes. Uh, typically it'll be a, um, an old barn or an old house that I see, or um, you know, evening or morning when the light is just perfect, and uh, I'll, I'll take some photographs and, and put those together and, and make painting out of it. So uh, the, the networking was great. Um, I, I like to talk to the people that are here, and and uh, there are a lot of people that come through all at once, being a short show. This group here uh, actually was inspired by the Western Wall in Jerusalem. And the, I started thinking about uh, whether or not walls could be thought of as unifying instead of, you know, walls are meant usually to separate people, but maybe walls could bring people together. And so I started building walls and thinking about colors and what various colors might mean to people in a positive sense. And the idea that you would tuck a note or prayer into the cracks of a wall. So those are the wall series. The smaller ones I think of as small artifacts because they're almost like little found objects. And so I put those together in a slightly different kind of way. Uh, these are all collage on canvas. There's no paint. So I use various kinds of handmade papers and um, high quality machine made papers and treat that like paint, really. I use the papers to build tones and values and shapes. What inspired me to start? Uh, actually, especially with my kinetic sculpture that I've been making, uh, I've actually was remember when I was a little kid at Washington D.C. in the National Gallery watching Alexander Calder's work, and I actually would watch his work for a long period of time. Got really fascinated with it. As I went into art into college, I was like, you know what? Why not start making some of my own? And so I was like. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I couldn't afford Calder's work anyway. So I started exploring with it and I've been falling in love with it ever since. Um, I've also been doing a lot of different art as thanks to my art teacher in high school as well. She really got me involved a lot uh, because, you know, she actually got me into a major congressional show uh, and then I actually won an award for the school, <laughs> which is really nice. It actually kind of got me started in my art career 
then she told me like something I'll never forget, which was, you know, you can major in art in college. And I was like, no, I didn't know that at all. So, so that completely switched. Otherwise, I was going to be a robotics engineer on top of that. So, a little bit of a switch. <laughs> uh, these pieces can take anywhere. For like the little ones, they could take maybe about a couple hours. Like the really large ones will take me a long, long time. Like I actually have an eight foot mobile that took me probably about 120 hours or so to make. Uh, just really complex. The more complex I get, the more little levels that they have, the more I got to balance things out. So a couple hours to a couple weeks, maybe even a month. Occasionally when I'm working in the studio, I'll be working with a piece and like, I lock all the little pieces together, but before I finish the piece, they're all separate. So then when I put them all together, they all balance out. Sometimes they'll fall off. It can get a little aggravating over time, but really, I enjoy what I do, and if I got really aggravated, I just wouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> what keeps me coming back? There's a really large crowd, a lot of people here. It's a really good environment. Uh, I really like uh, a lot of people with the uh, city of Centerville, the Kettering Arts, or not Kettering, but the Centerville Arts Council, uh, and we work together. Um, just have a really good rapport with them, and they uh, have a good rapport with me too. And, uh, really fun environment too. Can't go, can't go wrong with it. So. Thank you.